Hey there, welcome to the channel. So in this week's video, I'm showing you how I make these amazing bath bomb fizzies. They have a nice pop of color, they smell amazing, and they have just the right amount of fizz and foam action for you to enjoy a nice, long, foamy bath. Guys, wanna see how I make these bath bomb fizzies? Well, keep watching. So these are some of the ingredients that I'm going to be using in these bath bomb fizzies. So let's go over them really quickly. So I'm going to be using some baking soda. I'm also going to be using some citric acid. I have some coconut milk powder, and then I'm going to be using some Epsom salt. Now, these are not all of the ingredients that I'll be using, but let's start with these. So first, we're going to need a bowl. And since I already measured out all of my ingredients, I can go ahead and start adding them to my bowl. So the first ingredient that I'm going to go ahead and include in my mixture is baking soda. So guys, all of the ingredients and the measurements will be in the description box below. But for this baking soda, you will need a little sifter to get out all of the clumps. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour my baking soda in to my sifter and go ahead and sift it out. And if it helps, you can certainly wear a mask so you don't breathe in any of these little baking soda particles. And you can always just take your hand and rub, rub it right around in the baking soda to make sure that all of the clumps are out. So the next ingredient that I'm going to include is my citric acid. And this is my citric acid, so I'm also going to just pour it right into the strainer and strain it out. And now that I have my citric acid, the next ingredient I'm going to include is my coconut milk powder. And I just put this through the strainer as well, just to make sure I get out any little clumps. You don't have to do this. You can certainly just pour it right in, but this is how I do it. Now, the last dry ingredient that I'm going to include is my Epsom salt. And now I'm just going to Give this a nice little stir to make sure everything is mixed in. So now I'm just going to measure out my carrier oil. So a good combination to use is castor oil and almond oil. You can also use castor oil and jojoba oil. That's also a good combination. So I'm just going to take my carrier oil blend and go ahead and include it into my dry mix. And I'm just going to pour in a little bit at a time and I'm just going to take my hand, get in there and start mixing things up. Now I'm going to take the remainder of my oil and go ahead and pour it over into my mixture. So 
So in addition to my carrier oils, I'm also going to go ahead and add in some polysorbate 80 along with my fragrance oil. And I have already mixed that up and I have it right here in my little glass container. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in. And then mix this in really well. And you can get in there with two hands if you need to. But what you want with bath bombs is just to get your mixture damp enough for it to stick together and then you can move on to the next step, which is exactly what we're going to do now. And this is how my bath bomb mixture looks. I think it looks pretty good. So I do have one more ingredient to add before we start to mold these little guys. Now, just as a side note, you can have a little bit of witch hazel, which is what I like to use on hand, and you can set that to the side just in case your mixture starts to dry out. You can give it a couple of spritz and that will help keep your mixture damp. So for this next step, I'm going to take an additional bowl and I'm going to go ahead and separate some of my mixture out and put it into this separate bowl that I have here. So now I'm just going to take a nice little color and add it into one of my bowls so that I can have two separate colors. Now, in addition to my liquid color, I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of mica just to give it an additional little pop of color. So now that I have my two colors, I'm just going to move them aside. So I'm just going to be using some cute little moles like this, just regular round moles. And I'm also going to be using some rose petals to give my bath bombs a nice luxurious feel. So guys, these are my bath bombs. 
So I think they came out lovely looking and they smell amazing and I cannot wait to try them. As a matter of fact, let's try one of them out right now. So I would say that's some pretty good foamy, fizzy action. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Products that I use can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.